Okay, today we're going to be talking about LED tail lights. Um, what we're going to do is my my goal here was to uh, create a set of LED tail lights for my '67 Mustang um, and keep the cost down. Um, I got these. Uh, these are red trailer. Uh, LED uh, tail lights that I got for $21 for six of these lights off of eBay. Uh, of course, from China. But uh, and then uh, these relays, which are time delay relays, uh, that I also got from China, but they were uh, just under seven dollars for four of these. Um, so what I'm going to show you here is I have these wired up in sequence so that this is a standard brake light. Brake light, they all come out, or, or tail lights, excuse me. This is our, the tail light, so all the lights come on together. These are at 50% LED light. That's for tail lights. Now when we go to brake lights or turn signal, It goes, I'm hitting the first LED immediately with the power. Second LED goes through the first time delay relay. Third LED goes through the third time delay relay. And that, of course, is all going through their, our, my electronic flasher, which will be going in the car. So here we go. pretty bright. So let me show you that in sequence with the tail lights on. So here's our tail lights and then here's the turn signals. Alright, next thing to do is we're going to mount these uh, inside the tail light lens. I'll find a nice mounting spot for these also inside the tail light lens. We'll get that all hooked up and we'll give that another try. Okay, so what I'm going to use for the uh, mounting of these LEDs. I'd like to mount them on a plate inside here so I can mount the relays on there as well. And I'm just using a piece of cut up um, top to some plastic storage bins that I just cut apart and measured out and marked marking the holes on here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drill these out and use some hot glue and get these mounted on here. Okay. Here we are on the car. A little bright out today, so it's a little tougher to get a good idea of how bright these are. They are pretty bright. I have to adjust the timing of that last relay just a little bit, just to give them a little bit better sequencing, but uh, I think we're pretty close. <laughs> 